Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to Korean Atlanta Mentorship. So just another quick review of Velocity Banking before we go to sleep on this beautiful Monday night. Uh, it's almost summer, or is it already summer? I guess it is. It's June. Oh my goodness, it's already June 17th. So just another quick uh, review of Velocity Banking. So first of all, what is Velocity Banking? All it is is a debt, debt payoff strategy using lines of credit as your main tool. Okay, and you only need two things to do it. Uh, we'll need a budget, which we already have, and a line of credit as our main operating account. So in this situation, we made it really simple. Um, we have a credit card, right? We have one credit card where we somehow got $18,000 in debt, um, and our payment is about $585 a month, okay? And then we have rent for $1,200, other food, gas, insurance, we'll say $2,000 a month, and we're in a zero um, cash flow paycheck to paycheck scenario and we're not making that much money okay so what we're going to do is we're going to um, assume two things so first of all we have the same income and we're also going to make sure that it we're all we're never going to have any savings when our debt is paid off because our line of credit is going to be our emergency fund and new savings account and we're going to use it as our main operating account that's like the key word there main operating account Average American, the main operating account is a checking account. Velocity Banker, the main operating account is that line of credit. And you might be asking, what is a line of credit? Well, all it is is a financial tool where you can borrow money, pay it back, and use it over and over again, right? So a credit card is a line of credit, and this, not our checking account, is going to be in our main operating account where we use it to pay everything, including our rent. Some people are like, oh my goodness, what kind of magical world do you live in where you pay the credit card with or rent with a credit card well here's the thing it's 2024 right there's always going to be new solutions in the marketplace because people will come up with new ideas and you know every time there's some sort of inconvenience and you think hey this kind of sucks well guess what someone's come up with a solution so you can there are several ways to pay rent with the credit card one of them that comes to mind is the built mastercard so right here it says, finally, a card that lets you earn points on rent and more, so you can pay rent without the transaction fee. Another service that you can use is Plastique uh, Credit Card um, Rent, right? Look that up. And then uh, you can see that they have an article about how to pay rent with a credit card. Again, you can use Plastique you know, right here. It says, pay your rent with Plastique. It's actually pronounced Plastic with a Q. But I like Plastique because it reminds me of Mystique from X-Men, if you know what I'm talking about. But you could, there are several solutions out there. So when people are like, oh my goodness, what kind of fantasy worlds are you living? I'll be like, okay, Boomer, even though like some Boomers are cool. Um, so, all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this thing called Velocity Banking. And again, let's do the Velocity Banking side of the budget. Really relatively simple. Um, so here... Uh, we have the same income. We have absolutely no savings. So if we do it the average American way, we might save like $50 here and there. Um, but, you know, when we do velocity banking, we're going to do the exact opposite, which is have zero savings. And then we're going to have this thing called cash flow, right? So this looks the same in the very beginning. But once we start to do velocity banking and use our credit card as our main operating account, then we're going to have a lot of cash flow in the very beginning. So ideally, idealistically, you wouldn't be in a zero cash flow situation, but this is going to help you. And at the same time, you always want to get more income, right? Uh, I always like to show the benefits of doing this um, in a vacuum where you don't have additional income, but always try to get more income and always try to pay off debt, right? That's, that's, that's what I like to do. Okay, so now the actual strategy itself is that you need a line of credit as your main operating account, and we're going to use this credit card, this $18,000 balance we have on the credit card, as our main operating account. So as you can see, I've written the, the deets or the details of that credit card right here. It's 27%, $25,000 limit, $18,000 balance. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our entire paycheck into that line of credit, take our expenses out, and rinse and repeat over and over again, and uh, it'll decrease by our cash flow. Now, here's a cool thing. When we put our entire paycheck of $3,785, what happens to the payment? Does this payment matter? No, it does not. So this goes to zero, and this is how we create $585 of cash flow out of thin air, right? 
you put your entire paycheck into the, the, the credit card. You're not just making the monthly payment, which is kind of what Dave Ramsey and even the, maybe the bank, even though nobody at the bank actually really talks to you. But Dave Ramsey's like, hey, you know, you got to save $1,000. Um, and here, we're not going to save $1,000. We're going to, our savings is going to be zero. We're going to put our entire paycheck into that line of credit, expenses out, rinse and repeat over and over again, right? So it's gonna, now going to go about 585 and then we have a 27% balance, okay? So we got to go ahead and do the calculations to see how long it's going to take to pay off that $18,000 balance. Now, again, it's going to take, it's not going to be like two months, right? Because it's $18,000, we don't have that much income. Heck, I don't even know how, what any um, <laughs> creditor would give you that much to lend on when you're even not making that much income because creditors do check income, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, they want to see how much you're making. But let's go ahead and do this. So I2 plus one, we'll see the next month. So the next month's balance is the previous month's balance plus the previous month's interest minus this cash flow number, which is 585. So see, here we were at zero, right? Like we're in the struggle bus. Here we're, we have a little bit of breathing room, right? We got a little bit of breathing room, okay? It's not, it's not like the best, but again, it's better than being, you know, suffocating and kind of almost drowning. At if and if you have like you're you're off one dollar, you know, you're you're screwed. You know what I'm saying? So here now we got every single month. Obviously, the credit card's going to calculate the interest, and it's going to be calculated by the average daily balance. So what you do is take the average function here, multiply it by the interest rate. So it's going to be twenty seven percent, and then we divide by twelve to get that monthly interest, right? So as you can see. Things are going to kind of be tight in the first couple of months, but it's much better than just like you have no room for error. You know what I'm saying? You have no room for error. So here, even though we're, we're at a 27% interest rate, we're using the full power of our paycheck to satisfy that minimum monthly payment. And as you can see, you know, this is going to go down, right? This is going to go down. And it's going to take us, let's see, more than two years. And let's see how long we're at. But as you can see, the interest that we pay goes down and down and down. So at 52 months, in a zero cash flow situation, we paid off $18,000 of debt. And how long is 52 months? It's about 4.3 years, right? So 4.3 years. Now... What I'm wondering is there is there a bank who's actually going to lend you this much money if you're only making three thousand seven hundred eighty-five dollars uh, a month? I'm curious about that. Now, if I really wanted to pay this off, so I just do two things realistically. Number one is I definitely want to increase this income because I don't think you know if you're renting, like there's a rule that says hey you know three times the rent should be your income, and we do match this. But I feel like, hold on, let me think about this. 1,200, okay, that seems right. So 1,200 times 3 is 3,600. So we're barely matching that. But if we're just like a, a single person, would we spend $2,000 a month? Maybe, I don't know. But I have a feeling that we got to start increasing our income, number one. And then we got to start decreasing. And again, this is the part where I, I say you should probably live at home, right? So you got to probably live at home and... I mean, when I say live at home, maybe live with your parents or mom or dad or whoever, and then decrease this to like 400 so that we can speed this payoff. But hey, you know, if we're at zero paycheck, it's not that bad or zero cash flow. So let me go ahead because think about it, zero dollars here, you know, we're drowning versus, hey, we got a little bit of wiggle room. It's just that it takes a little bit of time, a little bit. More, so let me just try to 52 to 12. 4.3 years to pay this off. But hey, that's not bad, right? It's not bad. And then as you make more income, you'll be able to get more debt. And again, this is a debt payoff strategy. So if you, again, I don't know sometimes how, uh, know how these DTIs or debt to income ratios are enforced because in some states, like the mortgage takes away like 75% of your income. They're like, how'd they approve that? And it's probably because like you got multiple households living in the, in the same house 
So even though the median salary is like a hundred something thousand dollars and the median home price is like one million, they gotta cram people, kinda like the Brady bunch there, right? And sometimes you gotta make sacrifices if you got that much debt. But I'm just rambling on and on. Just want to make a quick review video about velocity banking. Again, your income goes into line your credit, expenses out, and just by simply paying this off, right? Or not, or I'm sorry, making this your main operating account, that creates cash flow kind of out of thin air, right? You don't do things the average American way where you pay things out of your checking account. You pay, well, you, you make your main account the checking account. What you do is you make your credit card as your main operating account, right? And I always feel like a little bit wheezy whenever I have things pay things with the, with my checking account because I know I'm not using the full power of my line of credit. If that makes sense. All right, well, it's Crane Atlanta Mentorship. Um, just another quick review of having one card and living paycheck to paycheck. Again, hopefully you're not in this situation, but if you are, the, you know, this will give you a little bit of relief, but always focus on making more income as well. All right. Have a great day, everybody, and we will speak next time.